Hello and happy Friday. My name is Grace Kozabowski and this is my final project for Studio 1101. I chose five words that I felt um, helped me throughout the design process and those words were precision, movement, order, transparency, and minimalism. Our first assignment was to create 18 contour drawings of our hand. I did six of those in graphite, then another six in various inks, which ended up being my favorite medium to work with. Next, I did six in China marker and pastel pencils, which was a really interesting exploration into the tooth of the paper versus the grit of the pencil. Next, we took those 2D drawings and translated them into a 3D wire hand, which might have been my favorite project we did the whole semester, and I really, really enjoyed the outcome. We went back to the pencil and paper for the next project and did two studies of our wire hand under the influence of light. And we also supplemented those with three thumbnail drawings. We then threw the drawings into Illustrator to work up guidelines of focal points that could aid us in cladding for our bounding box in the future. Before starting the bounding box, I did a lot of Pinteresting and a lot of journal keeping to kind of get all of the ideas in my brain out into the physical and, and a little more tangible. We started off by doing four corner studies, both in Rhino and in real life with the basswood. It was a really interesting um, to work with the basswood and also kind of hone my skills in Rhino. Next, we have the first iteration of the box, which was very, very quickly scrapped because it resembles the grill in my backyard a little bit too much, and I did not like that. This is the final design for my bounding box, as well as step-by-step -step instructions so that we could potentially pass the building of the box onto somebody else more journal pages that I did prior to the building of my actual box that just helped my mind stay as organized as possible. This is the final basic idea for the cladding. And here is the physical box with the cladding on it. I decided to add three cutouts to the cladding to frame my three favorite fingers on the wire hand, as well as reinforce those with stitching that I did on my sewing machine. From a different angle, you can see the shadows a lot better and you can also start to see the embroidery floss that I used to attach the vellum cladding to the box itself. Our next assignment was to do three section drawings of the box and cladding which we had done previously, but I felt I had a much better grasp on my project this go round. Our last uh, assignment before this was to cite the box in what I called an installation. So this is my favorite angle of the installation. You can very clearly see the pedestal that has a similar uh, perimeter to the box itself, but you also get a very clear view of the wire frame that encases the box and the pedestal as well. You can see the wire frame a lot better here, and I wanted that to kind of act as a barrier between the viewer and the box itself. As you continue through the installation, the box lets you see the the hand in the bounding box, but it doesn't let you touch it, so it creates this really wonderful push and pull between the viewer and the box itself. Thank you so much for watching.